so the next, <clears throat> last year, um, over 85 evangelical leaders came out in support of um, uh, an economy-wide cap-and-trade program to reduce global warming uh, pollution. What is your position on the national cap? Yeah, I don't support a national cap-and-trade system. Uh, I've supported marketing programs or setting up uh, voluntary uh, carbon trading programs. I've supported tax credits to encourage uh, carbon trading and carbon sequestration programs. I've been to Brazil and the Atlantic rainforest area where they're doing uh, carbon sequestration programs in the rainforest areas there. Uh, I'd like to see us use tax credits to encourage more of that taking place and encourage it taking place here. I want to see us change our CO2 emissions in this atmosphere that we have. I'm on a bill, the lead energy bill, that, that would extend. Well, the primary piece of it is to expand electricity in our car fleet. Getting the first 20 to 30 miles in our car fleet off of electricity. To do that, you're going to need more nuclear power because nuclear is the key way you can reduce CO2 emissions in your power generation on a, on a near term basis. Support all of those things. I do think a cap and trade system trap pushes carbon emitting industries to countries and to places that don't cap and trade, like China, like India, like Mexico, and I think you end up increasing your carbon dioxide emissions, not decreasing it. So I really think the, the way I've outlined, it's a, it's a free market society way to go, and I think free markets properly motivated will be regulatory systems. Uh, we, it is a key problem. We've got to deal with it on our CO2 emissions. So I think it's a different way. Dr. McCaskill.